Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Oh, I'm already dropping cards. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We're going to take these. It says, uh, win or lose and choose your battles for you, Libra. I'll read these at the end. Or attempt to. <laughs> I mess up a lot when I talk. So. This is for uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Any other place that you want to check out, go right ahead and do it. Uh, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, don't force it to fit. It might not be your reading today. I do have a playlist with other Libra readings you can check out. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. For a personal reading, I do have my website in the description box below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. General messages for Libra. General love messages for Libra. get some of it, some of this out the way okay what you don't see coming is the empress that could be the birth of something new. It doesn't have to be a kid. It could be. It could be. I'm not saying it isn't. It doesn't have to be. Maybe a new idea. It could be pregnancy. Be careful. <laughs> if you don't want any kids or any more kids, if you have some already. Okay, Libra. I feel like your current energy is the Queen of Cups. You're somebody who is emotionally balanced. You have a lot of love to give in a certain situation. Um, doesn't mean you are. Um, but definitely, definitely in tune with yourself and your emotions. Um, recent past. Looks like your focus was uh, happy, you're happily ever after, your family life, your home life. It's possible some of you guys have kids. Um, for some of you, because this is a general reading, right? It's general. I see two kids. Could be, uh, could be your own, could be stepkids, anything like that. But that's what I see for this reading. Again, uh, this is a general reading, so that message might not be for every Libra. I saw you focused on moving forward in that, in that happy, you know, happily ever after type of uh, mentality, family-wise, and it kind of all came down. By the way, it looks here. Right now, I feel like you're looking at different perspectives of a certain situation in your life and you could be communicating with somebody who is uh, a little immature I, I catch immaturity in this energy um i feel like this person is petty and there's a lot of petty arguments i feel like there's other people involved in your situation almost like 
maybe I don't, I don't see this on your side. I see this on the other person's side where they might involve other people, like rally up other people against you. Take it how it resonates. If it's the other way around, you flip it and switch it. I'm reading for Libra, so this is how I'm going to read. Um, in the near future, I see you in your head about something, wanting to go in a new direction. And with the Justice card here, I see a lot of good things coming to you. So let's see what this is about. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra. You could have strong Scorpio and Libra in your chart. Or a fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. All right. I feel like um, the overall energy here is, is pretty much... You're taking a step back. You're taking kind of a break from a situation that you have uh, invested a lot into. I feel like this situation was very close to home. You probably live with this person or had plans on getting married or something like that. Um, I don't see necessarily marriage cards, but there could have been plans to go towards that. Did you hear the car in the background? Sorry, my window's open. It's right by the the front here, so you'll hear some traffic once in a while. But anyways, back to the reading. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of love in a situation that... Um, yeah, I can't say it's in your past. You're definitely looking at the whole situation. You're looking at the whole thing like, man, I gave a lot here. But I see you taking a break from that. I don't see you giving in that direction at the moment. Definitely thinking if it was even worth giving in is, is what I feel. Yeah, I feel like um, hmm. this situation was something that caused you a lot of grief, a lot of heartache. I feel like you've you've been in a lot of pain over this. Um, definitely invested a lot of emotion into this. And you know it. And you know it. And, and I feel like you're trying to do your best to... I can't say ignore the that part. I won't say ignore it, but more like trying to put your best foot forward, even though this stuff is here. And I feel like I want to cry. Um, so definitely something that you have invested into. That you're, um, that you're um, trying to move forward from in a very logical smart um way yeah i feel like um you did try to make something really good come from this but it it not only required a lot of patience I, I feel like you were very patient and things didn't get anywhere near where you wanted them to get. They didn't move forward. And it really caused you to be in your head and to lose sleep and to be in a bad place, in a bad mental place. 
because ultimately that's what you wanted. I feel like some of you have kids with this person. I don't even see them popping up in your reading yet. I just see, I see like a relationship. I don't see this other person here yet, you know? I'm just seeing what you've, uh, what, what it is that you wanted with someone in the past. Like I said, for some of you, you have kids with this person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like this person was a bit of a player. They they were in and out, inconsistent, you know. One minute they wanted to be here and really work on things, and the next minute, whew, gone. Like, where's all that passion that you brought? really hard to move anything when someone is in and out like that and you're consistent with your emotions and you're consistently giving because I see you consistently giving this past here is making you really sad I don't like it sorry I feel like you gave a lot and I don't feel like you got a lot of return. I got to be honest. You're already represented twice by the Queen of Cups, which is like somebody who is so giving in love and understands their own emotions and stuff. And, you know, mm. Right now, I feel like you're in a place where you're trying to be positive. You're trying to be, you're trying to be positive, not really knowing if you want to offer love to anybody at the moment. Um, I don't have any real cards of an ending here, but I don't feel like this is this recent past that I just spoke about. I don't really know if this relationship here is ended yet like i said if you have kids with this person it's very uh, possible that they're still in your life therefore the relationship is not over uh i don't know if you're giving to that anymore but right now you might be looking at the whole situation different whether you even want to go back or not because you're guarded you still have love for a situation but you're guarded you're really not making any moves Yeah, I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person is, um, they could be younger than you, immature, on the immature side. Um, I feel like everything is too hard for them to stay consistent with. Feel like they argue a lot they do this a lot like this is a, a pattern of theirs it just I feel like their communication is very childish I don't get a mature energy from this person at all even their effort like I see you giving effort. I don't see effort really being given in this situation from the other person. Yeah, I feel like this person likes to bring you drama. 
okay? I feel like it's drama. It's unnecessary. And they might apologize sometimes, but even the apologies are minor, you know, very small gestures. And it's like, if you were to, if this person were to come to you and say they're sorry about something, I feel like that's it. The minute you say, all right, let's work it out or okay, that's it. They're not sorry no more. <laughs> it almost instantly goes back. And I feel like this person has a lot of fears, a lot of subconscious blocks, a lot of hidden things in their head that keep them stuck. I feel like this person is stuck in that immaturity that they're in. You never really know if their apologies are genuine. I can tell you they're not. And the reason they're not is because they keep doing it. Because I see this is happening all the time. So... I feel like, hmm, I feel like this person has made, I feel like this person has walked out on you. This person has made you feel abandoned. This person has constantly chosen other things over you and your home situation. Um, if you lived with this person, if you were in a long-term relationship with this person, I feel like they're the type of person to put everyone else first. Um, and you just couldn't figure out why, you know, couldn't figure out why, why did they do this like that? Why'd they leave you feeling like that? I'm sorry if you're going through that. I feel like um, in the near future, I see you closing out a cycle here. I see you ending something. I'm not sure if you're planning on moving. For some of you, I see moving. For others, I see traveling. Um, but definitely just, you know, kind of keeping to yourself, not really sharing your business with everybody, just kind of being internal and Knowing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but still being very um, guarded with your, with sharing your, um, sorry, I think that's my neighbors. Okay, like I was saying, uh, I see you um, focusing on your money. I see you focusing on your money. I feel like that's your strong suit. It kind of distracts you a little bit from stuff that you've been through to just, you know, your stability is very important to you. And so you focus on that. And that's, that's kind of like a little bit of your therapy, you know? Um, in the future, <laughs> I don't know when this will be, but I can say in the future, you have a lot of good things coming to you. You have a lot of good times coming to you and you're a lot wiser after this experience. I see you being in tune with your, uh, intuition. I don't have the high priestess out here, but I'm telling you what I feel from the cards. I see you being very in tune with your intuition I see you wanting to offer love to someone. I don't see it being this past person. I see it being somebody new. I see like a very spiritual side of you coming out. 
You're the type of person that appreciates the present. I see that here. So that's your reading, Libra. Let me read these two cards. So bear with me because I always trip up over my, over my words. Okay, if I can find it. Okay, we'll do this one first. Win or lose. Keywords, disagreement, ego, detach, love. Often in matters of the heart, people find themselves in disagreement. Set against one another in a battle of wills. Ego takes the place of intellect. Greed overtakes generosity. The love in the relationship is forgotten and the desire to win. But where there's a winner, there's also a loser. The partners are no longer equal and the relationship can falter or completely break down. At this time, be cautious about letting your ego trick you into acting in your own self-interest, especially at someone else's expense. If another person is trying to provoke you, do your best, do your best to remain detached. Solve disagreements in a way that makes everyone a winner. Find the middle ground where each, pers where each person yields just a bit, but just enough. Let the love be your guide in dealing with conflicts around matters of the heart. In the end, it's not winning that matters. It's the love. While I was reading that, I was kind of wanting to argue with the book because this is the right way to handle things. Don't get me wrong. There are people that you can't keep even ground with you know there's people that will fight you even on things that are fair don't bother arguing with them i'm just saying i mean even when you're trying to be fair if you can't you can't it just is what it is sometimes anyways that's my input on that and choose your battles keywords conviction resistance defense evaluate as much as, you, as much as you'd like all of your relationships to be harmonious, this is not always the case. I just said that. Beliefs and opinions clash and each person struggles to validate his or her position. Sometimes it's important to take a stand and assert your convictions. However, this attitude may be misread as aggression and the other person may push back. You then feel the need to justify yourself. It becomes a cycle of confronting and defending, which can be exhausting and damaging to the relationship. Are you currently engaged in conflicts with others or even with yourself? If so, it's time to evaluate the situation. If you believe strongly in your position and know that the outcome will serve everyone's highest good, stand with your ground. If being the victor is truly not worth the discord, consider letting it go. Don't allow the desire to win prolong a battle that is unnecessary. Definitely. Like I said, if there's no even ground, sometimes you just got to let stuff go. Fair or not, let it go. So that's your reading, Libra. I hope this helped you in some way. And take care. See you next time. Bye.